Hi, this is Pat Love with a short video on narcissistic abuse with Pat's two cents. Okay, now, I've been watching a few videos and it's really interesting to see what women put up with. And it was interesting to hear a man discuss what makes a man tick who abuses women. Well, one of the belief systems, which I had never thought of, to be honest with you, and this may help some of you women who are being abused, and it may help some of you men who are abusing the women. And that is, they tend to have a belief system, maybe they grew up with, maybe it's in their culture, to think that the only reason a woman is on the face of of this earth is for a man's pleasure, to meet a man's needs, to serve the man, to be there for him, to be his support. She's not there for herself. She's there for him. Ergo, a man can treat her as a pet. If the dog doesn't go and retrieve the stick the right way, the man can beat the dog. If the dog barks when the man tells the dog to shut up, the man can stick the dog in the basement somewhere where he doesn't have to hear it or not feed the dog or kick the dog, whatever. And it's that same mindset with a woman. And the sad part, when I listen to what they say about how abusive men think about women in general, it sounds almost exactly like the way prejudiced whites felt about black slaves. They were there to serve them. They served no other purpose. So when you have a mindset like that, that's when the person ends up getting beaten because the man is so narcissistic and so caught up in me, myself, and I, and what pleases me, and what are you going to do for me, and me, 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 and, and it's, it has nothing to do with her. Her feelings don't count. The dog's feelings don't count. The slave's feelings don't count. Pretty much all in the same bucket. And it's really sad because this is the sad part. Some women are so dedicated to these men that they almost feel like failures if they don't keep these men happy. Well, sweetheart, let me tell you, it is an impossible dream. You cannot keep a man happy who thinks you are only to be there for him. You lose your identity. You lose your individuality. You lose your dignity you lose your freedom. I mean, you lose too much. Okay. Now for you men who feel as if that is all a woman is placed on the face of this earth for, I beg you to go back to God on that one. Because you will find when you watch the way Jesus treated women, he treated them with respect. One thing that you will notice is if you read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, which describes love, it refers to love as charity. When you look at that and you see where it actually says things like, uh, well, let me, I want to be able to read it because I want it to be accurate. And I want you to hear this. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't realize happens. It says, charity, which is love, suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. It's not puffed up like narcissism is. I had to add that little two cents as Pat's two cents. 
is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly. Now, you may not think it's unseemly to beat a woman, but oh yeah, it's unseemly. Seeketh not her own, which means, now it's Pat's two cents, which means it doesn't have to be your way. Some of you believe it's your way or the highway. And you will kick a woman to the curb in a New York minute or kick her all up in her behind and send her to the hospital to make sure that she gets, that she doesn't count. She belongs to you. And whatever you say is what goes or she got to go. Okay, that's Pat's two cents. Now, is not easily provoked. Hello. She says one thing you don't like. What did you say? Bam! Bam! Don't you get... I mean, is not easily provoked? Yet, when you get through giving her black eyes and broken shoulders and broken ribs and, and collarbones are dis dislocated and you're going to tell her, but baby, I love you. Sweetheart, no offense, but you have no clue what real love is. This right here describes, because this is descriptions. These are descriptions of healthy love inspired by God, who is love. Listen, I'm going to read this again. Doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Ah, this is Pat's two cents. What's you talking to him for? I don't want you talking to no other man. You talk to another man again, I'm on. <laughs> really? Okay, here we go. Rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. You know, some of you guys stand around, some of you policemen, some of you buddies on the football team, you get in that locker room and you start just uh, having a pissing contest. Who beat their woman down the most? Who gave her a black eye? Well, I busted her knee. I taught her a lesson. Well, look, if you're going to beat a woman, you make sure you do this, that, and the other. So if they come to arrest you, they can't put anything. <laughs> Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth. Uh, you know, this is, I, I love the way God loves me. I have never received so much respect as I have from God. And God is holy. Kadis to holy, which means without defect. And baby, you have defect. I have defect. All of God's children have defects. And all of God's enemies have defects. So there is no one who deserves that kind of loyalty, that kind of love, that kind of servitude and obedience. None but God. Because God is not beating us down. He's not intimidating us and manipulating us and playing with our minds to get us to obey. He's straightforward, loving, patient, kind, and true. Watch how God loves. And then, please, you do the same. Amen. And you women, hey, Y'all need to take a long walk, a long look at yourselves, and have a good long talk with the Lord to give you the courage and the backbone to walk away. If you got to run in the middle of the night, you got to make an escape plan. But it's time for you to get your heels to clicking, baby. Game's over.